All right, I guess I'm gonna intro this one. This is Jen's opportunity to brag about how many games she beat this year, which I will tell you are a fair amount. <laughs> <laughs> she hit a nice big round number. Am I allowed to say it right now? No! Save it! Save it's that. a lot. You can see the table's a lot fuller yeah. than it was for Scott's video. So, without further ado, let's get into the analytic. Reverse, reverse, re rewind. <laughs> Without further ado, let's get into the analytics of Jen's gaming for the entire year of 2023. Mm -hmm. uh, we did add a few more categories at the end. We took a little bit of things out, as we explained in Scott's video. So you'll see those. If you watched last year's video, it'll probably be familiar to you. So we're going to start off with mm -hmm. Action Adventure. And I played six games. Indigo Prophecy, Overcooked, Hidden Agenda, Luigi's Mansion 3, Overcooked 2, and Moving Out. Easily, by far, the best game on this list, no question. Moving Out? Luigi's Mansion 3. I got to play that with Alex. I call Gooigi Googie <clears throat> for the first little bit, and Alex was like, funny view. it's so obvious that it's Gooigi, but I called him Googie, which kind of stuck, and we just called him Googie for the rest of the game, but... We had a blast with that one. We really had a lot of fun. Who am I going to play that game with? I don't know. Maybe Alex. He's playing Resident Evil 6 with me right now, and he played that with you this year. Yeah, but Resident Evil 6 is awesome. Luigi's Mansion 3 is awesome. All right. Okay. Uh, calm down. Beat him up. Like Scott, the only beat him up I had was River City Girls 2. Which is crazy to think, because that is one of my top genres. I know. Like, I know. I think you guys beat up me. This was a co-op game. We played it three-player. Mm -hmm. We had a blast. We did. Hack and Slash. I had three games. Two of them are the exact same games you had, mm -hmm. with the exception of I also had God of War 3. That was a Indie recommendation. Hero. I said you have to play. <laughs> yes. Well, it was my plan to play more <laughs> God of Wars this year, but then I didn't. Is that a goal for next year, possibly? I would really like to run the gauntlet, gauntlet of them eventually, but... You'll see in a little bit what overtook God of War 3. There's another series that I started running the gauntlet of that overtook that, that I played more this year. What the heck are you talking about? What blasphemy are you no, talking about? You'll appreciate it. All right. God of War 3, though, amazing. I only uh, went to Aphrodite's bedroom once. Horrible. <laughs> I had to take a deep you, deep. <laughs> What the holy? You have a problem. I have a problem. I think I played like 11 last year and I have 17 on my list okay, this year. Can you start it when you run out of breath? I'll follow. Okay. The Devil and Me, The Last of Us Part 1, Little Hope, Dead Space, Man of the Den, In Sound Mai, Resident Evil 4 Remake, Bramble the Mountain King, Resident Evil 7, Corpse Party, Signalis, Madison, Scratches, Silent Hill 3, Clock Tower, Home, Yeah. Worse Than Death. Yeah. I will say <clears throat> that there was disappointments on this list, but they didn't make the bottom of the list, and it probably had a lot to do with the way I played them. So I think I cheated myself of a good experience with Madison by not following the <clears throat> instructions, which is what I did with Home and Worse Than Death, by making the room dark, um, instead of using surround uh, sound, using headphones. Setting the atmosphere. Setting the atmosphere, and I think I, because Madison was... Jen, you've got to realize uh, there that you play so many of those games that you are desensitized. Yes. So, even when I play Fatal Frame, I had all the lights off in here, the surround sound. Yeah. No, I didn't have surround sound because it was on the CRT TV. Yes. I do have the ability to, but I didn't do that. But, you got to set an atmosphere. Yeah. Um, Dead Space was not the remake, it was the OG. Still haven't played the remake. Don't feel like I need to anytime soon because I love that one so much. You know what, when you say that, that makes me think of another game that I don't think I need to play the remake of. Is it on my list? You played it this year. Okay! Well, then, whatever. But, um, I, in, without saying what my favorite game was on this list, I will say Resident Evil 7. I didn't die once. I felt good about it. Pretty happy with yeah, that. I was yeah. pretty happy with that. So, she did a good job. I did. Way better. Yeah. I still have fond memories of the first time you tried that game. <laughs> fond memories. Yeah, I didn't make a very far. Let's just say that. No, no! <laughs> so, Metroidvania. This is the category that overtook 
Oh. Trying to play any more God of Wars. I can see that. <laughs> I really can. I have Super Metroid, Shantae's Risky Revenge. I think that's what it's called. Yes. Risky Revenge. Castlevania Portrait of Ruin, Keith Story Plus, Castle Castlevania Order of Ecclesia, and Castlevania, Castlevania Lord of Shadows, Mirror of Fate. So there's two on this list that I want to play. Yes. And I've played the other one that would be the three. And the rest of them I don't really care myself. But this is yeah. you. I know Lord of Shadows you didn't jive with. Uh, you I tried, tried a playing bit with it there. Um, for whatever reason. I do believe it was last Christmas. Okay. Or maybe the Christmas before. I think it was last Christmas. I put it in. I played for maybe an hour before mm -hmm. we went over for Christmas dinner at your mother's house. Yep. And I never touched it again. And there's not a game on this list I didn't enjoy. Yeah, I was I was surprised you liked the... I uh, fucking love Metroidvanias. Yeah. I could see in the future... Hold your breath. I could see in the future Metroidvanias overtaking horror because I'm getting more disappointed in horror games because you I want... You know what's cool? Yeah, because you're desensitized. Uh, it's not just that. It's not scaring you anymore. It's not scaring me anymore and I don't want these walking sim horror games. <laughs> I want yes. to fight some things. I don't want to just walk along and have there be sound and jump scares. It just doesn't do it for me anymore. Well, you'll be happy to know that I can <clears throat> feel like the Metroidvania genre is coming back. I think so, with too. With a vengeance. I think so I'm too. seeing games, new games come up there every year. Yeah. Platformer. I had a few more than Scott. Scott had one. I had more. Adventure Island, Kirby's Adventure, Felix the Cat, Kaze and the Wild Masks, Tearaway, and Henry Hatsworth. And again, another list of games I really, really enjoyed. I did not beat Adventure Island in the traditional sense. I did have to save state on yeah. the last area or the second last yeah, area because I second, damn jump. Second last, I think it is. Damn jump. Like pixel perfect jump. It is, is, it is. And I felt good about what I did and I loved the game and I hate it. And I love it. Moving on. <laughs> But the rest of the games were really good on the list, too. RPG? Oh. I upped my RPG game this year. Oh I upped it. Kudelka is not just a turn-based, it's also a tactic. Yeah. It's it's yeah. And it's horror-themed, so... Now, they, I didn't see much of it, but can I assume, because it's a PS1, uh -huh. that they really set the atmosphere uh -huh. with uh -huh. story and music... Absolutely. Because they lose you in a little bit in the graphics. A little bit in the graphics, okay. yeah. And the gameplay is, it's age, It's right? an expensive but, game. Oh, it's a really expensive game. Really yeah, expensive. Yeah. That was one of those, a uh, couple years ago, it was like one of those holy grail items I was looking for. Yes, yeah. and that was the very first game I played in 2023, and it set the tone. It was a great game. Warhammer Chaos Bane, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, Trinity Trigger, and Sweet Home. And Sweet Home is a Famicom game, but I had to play it on the NES, so I got it on the EverDrive. Yes. Yeah, so that's not on the table so because she got a backup. Her backup. I got a backup from a Famicom yeah, game I had. It was a backup of her from game. Backup. Shooter. I just had two shooters and Huntdale and Bioshock. Now, I'm sure some people will argue Bioshock is a horror game. However, it was not scary, and when I looked it up, it listed it as a shooter, and I do believe it's more of a shooter First than a horror. First-person shooter more than a horror. Yes, yes. So it went in the shooter category. I was really inspired to play it after I made the painting for Steve, and I loved Bioshock. Steve and I, Craig. Yes, and I brought back a weapon of mass destruction from South Carolina that almost got us. It almost didn't it make almost the flight back. It almost didn't make the flight because they were like, you have a weapon in your luggage. I was like, I do not. But that's what it was, so. Run and Gun, a new category for this year. The only one I have on this list that Scott didn't have on this list because he refused to add it to his list because he barely played it I was say, I say I beat about half of it with him. Maybe. 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 I was so infuriated with that game <laughs> that I couldn't fucking, and she wouldn't let me Thanks, quit. Thanks, Marcus. Yeah, I would have been able to play it if she would have gave me a break, but she's relentless. Guns, Goron, Cannoli, Guns, Goron, Cannoli 2, Warhammer 40,000, 40, shoot us bloods and teeth. Teeths is how you teeths is how you buy stuff. Teeths, but they pronounce it teeths, and that's what it is. So I can pretty much guess which one was your favorite on that list. They're saying to people. But... We are now at the point where we talk about more of the analytics. Mm. We're at the genres, and I have nine different ones this year. Scott had eleven. I had nine. No surprise to anybody. 
37% of the games I played were horror. I think people could automatically assume that before they even click on the video. Yes. Action Adventure was 13%, but RPG and Platformer was 13% too, but RPG came way up and was 10.9. I'm, I'm surprised. Yes. Even though most of your RPGs were uh, co-op. Yeah. But I, like, I'm really enjoying RPGs. Uh, even turn-based ones, now that I've played a few and I'm getting a little bit more familiar with them, they do, mm. still do frustrate me because I don't, I'm not willing to grind and I need to be willing to grind in order to get where I need to get. Okay, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Genre played and hours played in the genre. So, um, again, no surprise to no one, I played 167 hours of horror games. The very next category for the amount of games I played was RPG and I played 109.5. Right? <laughs> and then Metroidvania came in at 95 hours. Again, not a surprise. Yeah. Uh, it's those are probably <clears throat> my three favorite categories. I really am getting more familiar with the turn-based RPG, but I still do like an action RPG better. So 17 horror games, and then everything else was like six and five and whatever, whatever, whatever. Console game breakdown. So. I did play more consoles than you did. I played 12 different consoles to your nine, 15 PS4 games and 10 PS5 games. And then Switch was the next one at probably like seven or eight. And then down from there. <laughs> and then it drops drastically and then it drops. after that. Yeah. Although NES was pretty high. I think I played four uh, NES games to yeah. your one. Uh, no, 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 I didn't even none. play any. None. none, Console game breakdown compared to hours played. My most hours played were on the PS5, even though that was the console I played the second most games on. Now DS was right up there too, like third or fourth, same thing with the Switch, and then everything down from there. Look at your total um, hours, you. A total hours? Do you even work? <laughs> so last year I had 499 hours, this year I had 626.5 hours. <laughs> I played a lot of games. I played a lot no of games. No wonder I was so busy. Right? <laughs> Gaming habits. So, I don't know. It, we'll wait till the end to tell you how many games. So, co-op versus single. I played 38% uh, co-op games and 62% single player you're like, games. You're like these, the complete I'm, opposite of me. I oh. know. Retro versus modern. 22% uh, of my games were retro and 78% were modern. Now, when I play single player retro versus modern, I still play more modern games when it's well, just my own games. 71% of them were modern, 29% were retro. Yeah, it's not surprising. It's not surprising. No, PS4 is your favorite console. It is, but I played more hours on the PS5. Yeah, I know because PS5 is like PS4 2.0. Yeah, that's true, that's true. <laughs> Last year, I played 499 hours, 41 games. This year, I played 626.5 hours, and I played 50 games! 50 big ones. I literally held off doing this video. <laughs> so she could get those so last two games So I could get that 50th yeah. game. Because I didn't think it was even possible. We were at 45 games three oh, days ago. Yeah, I know, and then we finished two games here, uh, co-op games, like bang, bang, in one night. And then I was really close to finishing Castlevania, Lord of Shadows, Mirror yeah. of Fate, so... You literally fin we finished, or you and... I finished, finished five, five games, games in, in like three two, days. Two or, two two or days. three days. Two or three days, yeah, yeah something like days. that. But it was, it was crazy, and I came downstairs for my 49th game, and I was like, what do I choose? And I didn't necessarily choose based on how long it was going to play, but I kind of did. I was like, maybe I get through the 50th game. Maybe, maybe, but I did. So my hours were up by 20%. Not quite as much as yours. You went up by 24. Oh. And my game, uh, percentage of games was up by 18% to your 3%. Because you played one extra game, yeah. I played nine extra games. 50, that's pretty impressive though. Yeah. 50 games? Yeah. First six months versus my last six, six months. months. So in my first six months, I played 430.5 hours for 69% of my gaming. Wow. That's a little bit more than you, or a little bit less than you did. You played 73. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't 
196 hours of my games were on the last three or six months for 31%. So we both took a big dip in the we last did. six months there because we have so much stuff going it was, on. It was a lot. Yeah. It was a lot. Don't look! It's a surprise. <laughs> what do you think was my worst multiplayer? Your worst multiplayer? Mm -hmm. I'm not even sure what you have for multiplayers. I knew my list. The same one as you. It's the same one as you. The same one, Hidden Agenda? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's not I, surprising. It, it was just underwhelming. Wow. Yeah. I, I felt like half of the time we were like doing other things, we were checking our phones. People just weren't... <clears throat> we weren't invested. Weren't invested Maybe we weren't in the right headspace. Yeah. I'm not going to say it's a bad game, but it just it didn't jive at the time. So. Okay. It's not as much Worst single-player games, what do you think? I don't think... Worst it... single-player game? I have no idea. No. Dude, you got like fucking 50 games. <laughs> How am I supposed to pick the worst one? So, I had to really look at this list. It was tough. Scratches. PC game. It's, it's I aged. had a hard time getting that to work half the time. Do you remember yeah. I struggled down here yeah. getting that to work? I have my old PC hooked up to a CRT. That's a whole thing we did this year. I'm really excited about it, but I've used yeah. it all of once. And uh, it was tough. The Most of the game was great. The end of the game was cheesy. And it kind of took away from <clears throat> the overall experience. The ending of the game can really make or break it there. Yeah, and I didn't have... One wasn't worse than the other. Corpse Party. Oh. Yeah. So and now you can trade that? Because you have the big box version sealed. I do sealed. have the big box version sealed. I got them both on the same day. But I'm wondering if you have any motivation to ever play it. Probably not. It was just unneedlessly difficult and... I would not have gotten through it had I not got a walkthrough. And I don't want to have to go by a walkthrough to get through a game. Yeah, yeah. Well, I would have died out. The fun of it, Once sure. you lose a character, they're dead. They're, there's no coming back from that. Yeah. And I was going to lose characters left, right, and center because I just didn't know the proper method to doing things. It's not a terrible game. I just don't want to have to use a walkthrough to get through a game. And I felt like it's just it, not your cup of tea. It wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't my cup of tea. Uh, so now that that's done. So now we're going into the good stuff. Yes. Top three multiplayer. Okay. Uh, do you want to guess number three of my list? The Trinity Trigger? Nope. I'm surprisingly, Trinity Trigger did not make the list. You're not going to make this. I'm not gonna like this. No. Cuphead. No. Cuphead was oh. my number three. Oh, I forgot about that one. Yeah. <laughs> and that was your number three? That was my number three. Oh. I really, really enjoyed Cuphead, but not as much as I enjoyed D&D Heroes, which was my number two. Oh, I'm surprised. I really, really enjoyed yeah. that. And number one is a given. And yeah, that is. You, you must know what number one is. Hunt down. River City Girls too. too. You never it, even put Hunt Down on the list? I didn't put Hunt Down on the list. Jeez. It was between Cuphead and Hunt Down, but I just enjoyed Cuphead more. I enjoyed really? the challenge of it. I okay. don't know what it was about it, but I really enjoyed it. Top three single player games. Um, do you want to try to guess? You probably... You could guess my number one. Don't say it out loud, but you could guess my number one. But number three is a Castlevania game. Order of Cleveland. Yes. Yeah, Portrait of Ruin was great, but I liked Order of Ecclesia a little bit more. I stood it up too. I made sure to pick number two. Number two. What do you think? Super Metroid? No. Super Metroid did not make the top three. I know. I really, really enjoyed it, but it probably would be number four. Oh. Sweet Home was number two. Oh, I, I could not get enough of Sweet Home. It was a great game. Oh, okay. I was really, really surprised by that. And number one. Do you know? no. Are you going to pick Last of Us? No. Resident Evil 4. Yeah, Resident Evil 4 Remake. It was phenomenal. Okay. I took time off work to play that game. I stood in line with like five other dudes. 
to pick up that game on release day. And I came home and immediately started playing it. And I played it in four days. Mm -hmm. I was played Resident Evil Four every way, possible. every which way I can play it. Yep. I think last year it was my fa one of my favorite games on the Oculus Quest yep. too. Yep. So I, I don't know. All right. Screw you, Generation Pixel. It's a great game. He actually really did like it. He just he didn't like the other versions of it. Yeah. Um, and I think that's it. Oh, most surprising! I couldn't settle on one. I have three. Well, you better do quick. Sweet Home, most surprise. Okay. One of the most surprising games. Yeah. I didn't have an order for this. Just all three of these surprised me. You have three? I have three. Jeez. Shantae's Risky Re Revenge. I hadn't played a Shantae okay. game, and I was really surprised by how much I loved it. It was really good. So much so that you got me a Shantae game for Christmas. Yes. Yep. And then last on the list, Henry Hatsworth, because. I was surprised by, it's a super cheap game, and our good friend Jay worked on it, and I wasn't sure what to expect from it, but it was a puzzle on the bottom, it was a platformer on the top, it was like nothing I had ever played, and it was difficult. <laughs> oh my god, I almost quit that game so many times, but I'm not a quitter, so I had to get through it. I loved Henry Hatsworth, so... That's my games for 2023. I played 50 of them. 50. 50. Yeah, how old Dennis is? I played 50 games. Oh, almost. Almost. And uh, I have no idea what to expect from next year. I was surprised to get to 50. Yeah, that's it. All right. You want to say until next time, Game On? Until next time, Game On. He did it. <laughs> <laughs>